Hey everybody, this is Sully, Five Freaking Onion Rings, and have you ever wanted to swap your face because you thought it'd be cool to look like somebody else because I think I have to sneeze? But anyway, Da Vinci 18, we're going to show you how to swap faces pretty easily. Not convincingly, but if you're doing a horror movie, this might be just for you. Okay, so I'm going to show how to do this on two different clips, two different ways, or similar ways, but two different clips. Now, I'm on beta 4 now. I just updated like five minutes ago, and I did the opening intro on DaVinci 18 beta 3. And I've already noticed on beta 4, there is a glitch that we will see with the surface tracker. So if you're on 3, I recommend you stay on 3 for a while. Beta 4 does add surface tracker diffusion, but in my case it crashes, so it's not a good thing to work out. But we can still get through this, and I can do it in real time like I normally do. So we're taking our clip, and we want to go ahead and drag in our mat that we want to use. So right now I'm using Russell Crowe. And you want to go up, you know, click your magnifying glass, do surface tracker. If you can spell it, it's S-U-R-F-A-C-E, surface tracker. Comes in, you just want to drag it into the line. You can hold shift, and that will make it connect as well. Uh, but you want to connect green. The top green is going to your output and input. If you want to, you can go ahead and take your mat, do green to green, the low green, no problem there. Surface tracker is still the same as you'll see in every tutorial, everywhere all over the internet now because it's a great effect. But you're going to click bounds and for a face, you're going to go and just start clicking in here. Now this is where beta 4 is a little bit different. Every time you click, I can move the dot on this one. I can't move my second dot. So if I mess up a dot, I have to control Z to undo because I want it to be in a good spot. So I'm trying to go right outside my hairline and trying to leave just a little bit, you know, a little bit of a gray area where there's some transition. And in beta three, you can adjust these dots more, but in beta four, cannot. So I'm reporting that as a bug, not a feature, because if you put these in and you can't adjust them, it makes it really hard to get a good mask. So we got a nice spot around my face. You can see problem with the face. Now here's where doing a mask, a, a real mask, like a face mask, gets a little bit trickier. So we're going to go 100% and we're going to do this plus hole button. So click plus hole. That opens up an area now where you can put in your eyes or anything that you don't want the mask to cover. So in my case, I want my eyes showing so it looks real and I can blend it. So I've got one eye, then I'm going to do plus hole. Do my second eye because I have two. Um, that's not ableist, that's just me having two eyes. And we click around there. I'll leave a good bit on the outside of these because like I say, this is beta four and it does not do you can't adjust your mask as well. So now we're doing around the mouth because I want it to be a little bit simple. So like that one, I went a little too far outside. I'm control Z, coming back in. I'm just trying to get around the lips. Not, I mean, you don't have to be like exact, but the better you are, the better you are. And in this case, I can move the upper modules. This is so weird. I can move the upper. I can't move from there on. So I don't know why it'll let me adjust some, but not others. Uh, not a huge deal, but there we are. So we're gonna go back to fit, and now I look like a clown. We're gonna click mesh, it'll draw in a mesh, and since I already connected my mask, you can see Russell Crowe in the background. So we're gonna track, do beginning to end. This will look creepy as heck for right now, but that's okay. Huh. All right, and we're tracked. So we're going to results, and as you can see, it's a perfect mask. I have to do nothing else, this is great. Uh, we're just gonna hit play. Okay, now, but if you notice, it does move everything, so it's very interesting. Now, if you click go to reference, you'll get a frame and you can drag and try to place the face this way, which might be easier in this case than using sliders. I, I haven't done it this way, but this isn't too bad. So I have my face placed in. I want it to be a little bit softer around because I don't want my edges to show. And I want to go hide so I don't see my thing. So now I can see, heck, that's pretty good. Dang, okay. So if you notice now, the color is a little off and that's actually easy to fix. I'm going to do vector scopes so that way you can see skin tones. And I'll click on the mat, it's Alt S to get another node or you can just right click and add node, new node, add serial. Once you're in here, you can you can grade this external mat as if it's skin tone or as if it's any other type of image. 
So on Surface, if you click in this lower left corner of the box, it disappears. And when you have the vector scope up, you can see how the colors move. I'm not very good at color. I can't tell what's what. But one thing I do know, this is the color I want to match, and this is the color that the dude is. Your offset is the easiest way to change that. So click on your serial node, go offset, and I try to just shove it up and move that glit that, that that spot that's way over in the right. I try to move it to where I thought it was on my face. So now I've got this nice lineup, and whenever I take it off, pretty close. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, if you notice, my nose is a little off. I could probably do a little bit better on matching up, but this is pretty good uh, for five seconds. That was, that was actually really good. Uh, we're going to do show. Yeah, see I can move. Since I'm doing it with the, oh, that's why. Since I'm doing it with a grid, I normally do this with sliders and it takes me a lot longer, but since I'm doing it with the grid, I can just line up pretty much everything, skew the face out like I want. Since we both have beards, matches in pretty well. And from there, you just want softness. So if you have hard outlines, you'll see them show up. But when you do softness, you can see like even the lips come in and it looks pretty dang good. That's how fast that was. That is amazing to me. Um, holy cow. And it passes most scrutiny. If you're just glancing, you'll heck the hair, everything. That's just, okay, I'm impressed. I say not convincingly, but that's pretty good. Just looks like I put on a mask. That's how easy that is. I'm going to go now to the other version I have. So you're just going to bring your surface tracker in, make sure it connects. You're going to draw your face around. So bounce once again, clickety click, 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 click. In this case, since she had a neck, I'm going around my neck and that should be good. In this case, I want to show her eyes. So I'm only going to do one hole and that's around my mouth so that it looks like I'm talking to through her. Uh, if you're a dude with facial hair, you might not want to show the hair if you're going to be covering it up with a lady. So she might not like that, but that's okay. Whatever, just doing mesh, track, front to back. Should take a second. And that was fast. We're going to results. We're going to drag our lady in. Now there are a few things with her. It's a little bit different. So let's go fit. You'll see she's much different size. Uh, you get a lot more control if you don't use sliders and you try to do it through this grid, but it doesn't always work as well. So we're going to flip over and do sliders, just be easier. So with sliders, it is a lot easier. You get these canvas position and you can just flip horizontal if you want it different. Go X, do zoom, X, Y, zoom. Oh, that's actually about where I want. Now they do have anti-aliasing for the mask. That's pretty cool. That's a new thing. And softness. So we're gonna soften it out. So now that it looks so weird, it does look weird. I'm gonna contract a little bit cause I did have some hair in there that I didn't want it to be. And she lines up pretty well. Um, so she wants her eyes a little bit higher. So I just need to rotate her slightly. There we go. And if you notice, now to sell the effect, you just need to drop saturation in both the original and once again, you're doing Alt S when you click on the mat so that you get another serial node and you want to result, remove saturation here. That's just for this particular thing. And I could probably just change my contrast a bit here. Ah, oh, there we go. Drop shadows a bit, I drop highlights a bit. And there you go. So that puts it on. And so the original I did, I worked on this one for a while. Looks a little bit better, but again, it's just due to the mask that I used where I was drawing in the mask. It is, uh, it's easier when you can adjust the mask, but it's pretty cool that it does give you some options. So in less than 10 minutes, I was able to do two clips, two pretty good face masks, and yeah, with a couple of adjustments and tweaks, you can sell the effect pretty dang well. Yeah, actually that does pretty well. So yeah, in 10 minutes, that's it. That's how you can do a mask. Uh, pretty simple stuff. I love the surface tracking and I love depth maps. So that's that's going to be next. I'm gonna go back into depth map because the beta four is supposed to be better on depth map. Am I not right? So that's gonna do it. I wanna thank you so much. Don't forget like and subscribe. And if you like this effect, please let me know. And whatever you wanna see, let me know. I do have another coming up. So if you notice, I have an uh, media offline in a couple of these things. I can't find the clips, but I have another solution for how to fix this. In this case, this one's actually 
actually offline. So anyway, that's going to be my next one is show when you get those blanking media offlines. That's what I'm working on. Uh, I've got a couple of fixes for it. And yeah, that'll be next. But let me know what you're interested in and like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Care. Okay.